Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, I got some very interesting, exciting um, topic for today. And um, I'm a glassware and um, I know the high price cost of uh, prescription, uh, prescription glasses and sunglasses. But of course, now we have many companies on the internet uh, that's making it far cheaper. For instance, I decided to go with Warby Parker and you can order tr uh, five... Um, eyeglasses to try on for free the different frame styles which we're going to actually go over but before we get to that i want to talk about the high price of prescription glasses um and for instance i paid for these eyeglasses right here i do wear bifocals and just the frames um lenses themselves costed me i think four or five hundred dollars in fact i think it's five hundred dollars alone and that doesn't cost uh, count the cost of uh, the doctor's visit, the eye exam, which you're supposed to get every two years. I usually do it like five years. So I wanted to kind of talk to you uh, the reason they're so high. And obviously, if you choose the designer frames and things like that, that often jacks up the price. And sometimes it's really just the name only, not necessarily qualities there. Um, but actually, um, one of the major reasons why they can be very expensive is there's actually one company that owns 70% of the designer market. Uh, I believe it's Lucia. I probably pronounced it wrong because it's either French or Italian or something like that. But they have 70% of the um, designer market in both eyeglasses and sunglasses. And they often have... Uh, their frames are sh uh, showcased in a lot of these big retail store chains such as uh, Walmart, Lens Crafters, um, Target, and things like that. Where you, uh, you can go into the mall and get your uh, prescription glasses done. And uh, so you can see, I'm not saying exactly have a monopoly, but considering it's such, they got their market in almost everything. In fact, they even have their own health insurance for prescription glasses for your eye exams and things like that. And uh, they get their hands in that money as well. So that definitely jacks up the, can jack up the price. Now Warby Parker and many of the online stores, uh, Warby Parker in, in, for instance, is um, if you just use their basic frames, which are actually kind of uh, cool, uh, kind of designer frames, retro, um, started about $95, including the prescription lenses, which is very nice. Now, obviously, if you're going to choose a more complicated two-tone or uh, uh, more intricate frame, or you're using uh, bifocals, progressive, uh, progressive lenses, or even trifocal lenses, now there's going to be more expensive, which uh, normally starts out at about $295. Um, of course, that includes the lenses and the frames. Now, um, I think the average cost for eyeglasses uh, nationwide is around $262 last time I checked. So um, at least with a starting point of uh, $95 to $99 looks really well. So we're going to actually look that in detail with the uh, Warby Parker. When you go to the Warby Parker website, they ask you to take this quiz, uh, in this case, um, eyeglasses uh, and go through their entire selection process uh, the width of your face the style of uh, frames and uh, go through all the way through the questionnaire in the end it'll give you all the choices here you can uh, get the colors I chose uh, several to give uh, me the most options and um, you're gonna see that here in a minute and I chose a combination of uh, three plastic and uh, two wireframe. And then I asked you uh, last eye exam for some reason. And uh, didn't care about sunglasses. We just went to the eyeglasses. And uh, from here, it's doing going through the whole process for your selection. And here you can select your style and frame and possibly color some you only get one color choice but there's another select uh, enough selections within all the styles you choose to uh, give you enough uh, color selection we're going to go ahead and take a look at the warby parker uh, try it home kit uh, this came in my mailbox 
and the different items inside and first thing we're going to see is the mailing uh, return mailing uh, address and postage so you don't have to put any postage you simply put it on the box and put it in your mailbox or the post office and I'll send it back and of course you got a pamphlet that shows you all the correct uh, way to size your glasses try them on before uh, purchase and then of course your five selections of frames for the eyeglasses that you want to buy hey how you doing guys for this section of the video I'm going to show you my five choices of frames that I decided on and uh, as I go through each one I'm going to name you the uh, style of frame and I want you to choose your favorite one and the one that you think I should wear and put it in the comments below and uh, I'm also going to show you what I ultimately chose as well As far as my choice, I decided on the uh, Watts Sugar Maple style. I found that uh, it fits my um, head the best. It's not too big. Uh, the dimensions are right, so that was my choice. And uh, let me know what yours was. Besides that, uh, thank you for watching, and as always, see you guys later.